Hey friends, it's Drea. So today I have an all day wear test and review video for you. We are gonna be talking about the Can't Stop, Won't Stop primer and foundation from NYX. This just launched last year. I've been kind of waiting to get my hands on it for a while, finally did, and finally trying it out for you. I wanted to use these in conjunction with each other because that is essentially how NYX kind of plan this launch. But before we get into that, if you're not following me on Instagram and Facebook, um, please do, because I am now doing many tutorials over there, including this look, which will be posted today when this video goes up as well. Little one minute tutorial. Okay, so let's get into this review. I've already obviously applied this. I wanted to use it a few times and then apply it and then, you know, on camera, you'll see the overlay shots and then give you my thoughts of everything. So if you're new here, welcome. I have very, very oily skin, which is why I do these reviews so that you can actually see on very oily skin these foundations and primers and powders etc that claim to keep you very matte do they actually do they actually hold up throughout the day so first of all let's talk about how NYX actually describes this launch there's 45 shades of the foundation it is described as being full coverage we'll get into that in a minute it's $18 Canadian it's $14.99 US it is exclusive to Ulta if you are in the States but in Canada it's many many different retailers however the price will vary depending on the retailer you go to on ulta.com the foundation has 3.8 out of 5 stars with 566 reviews so to me that really is kind of a middle of the road kind of rating um, NYX describes it as being lightweight waterproof matte coverage true to color meaning that it will not oxidize and 24 hour wear it says in their words it works to control shine and mattify complexion all day long on Ulta.com, the primer is $13.99 US. It is not exclusive to Ulta. It's $18 Canadian, which I found interesting. The primer is a dollar less in the US, but the, the primer is not a dollar less in Canada. Um, the primer is rated 3.5 out of five stars with 142 reviews on Nyx.com and Nyx.ca. So again, very middle of the road rating. I did take time to read some of the ratings. They were all over the map. Like. Honestly, there are some people that loved it, some people that thought it was the worst thing they had ever tried. So this is gonna be one of those things where you, I think you really are gonna need to look up lots of reviews, check and see if the person reviewing it has the same skin type as you, because that's the problem. You don't know these people that are reviewing it, what their skin type is, is it the same as yours? And there's a foundation out there for every person in the world. You just have to find it, and sometimes it takes a long time to find it. NYX has very few claims in their little blurb about the primer. Literally everywhere I looked, there were like two sentences on the primer. The only claims that it actually says is that it preps complexion for smooth application and a matte finish. It doesn't actually say it is intending to keep you matte longer or control shine. It literally doesn't say that, whereas the foundation does does specify that it works to control shine and mattify complexion all day long so I'm a little confused about that but let's get into my application and what I actually think about it so first of all when I applied the primer it was a weird experience because it had this weird balling up effect on my skin and my face is washed and the only thing on it was my moisturizer and you should absolutely moisturize every time um, every morning before you put on anything else any makeup so I thought that was really weird and you can kind of see it in, on my fingers afterwards it's like a really weird balling up um, of product however once it was actually on my skin and it does say to gently tap to set the primer once it was on my skin it was dried down fine it didn't ball up again so that was a little bit strange so on my face I did this half of my face with a sponge and I did this half with a foundation brush I used the Real Techniques diamond sponge and then the <laughs> Sigma F80 flat top kabuki brush um, there was a marked difference in the way it applied on the sponge side it was very sheared out it was definitely not full coverage with one layer I had to build up a second layer to get it to full coverage which in some ways is good because then you have the option of sharing out a full coverage foundation if you don't necessarily love the full coverage effect of it but at the same time if you do love full coverage then and you love using a sponge you're gonna be using twice as much product and you're gonna go through it twice as quickly as with the brush but with the brush I didn't notice any streaking at all it was still like a very flawless 
coverage. It's very full coverage in one go. It applied very evenly and it only took one layer with a brush. So I was really actually pretty happy with that. Um, the foundation does set itself. So I did put a very, very light layer of the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder on top. Um, I have used multiple of these, so I know exactly how it works and how it will affect my foundation. Usually it just helps keep me matte throughout the day. And I will bring this with me if I need to repowder today. But in terms of actually the foundation itself, it did dry down to a matte finish on its own. So I didn't feel the need to go very heavy with powder. I just did a light, light dusting all over my face. And I did not use any setting spray today. So in terms of how my skin looks, first of all, this shade I think is a little dark for me, especially this time of year. It's probably more of a summer shade for me, but I had to bring it down my neck, which is okay. Um, it says specifically that it will not oxidize and I don't feel like it has so far. I put this on at 11 o'clock. It is now 12.30. It definitely is not dewy in any way. It's definitely matte. You're gonna have to add back that dewiness with highlighter, um, but I'm sure my oil will start making it look dewy throughout the day because that just happens with everything. If it doesn't, I will be absolutely blown over. Anyways, I do think that this is nice. Um, if It feels nice on the skin. Like it doesn't feel very drying. It is lightweight, but those are all my thoughts for now. What we're going to do is you're going to come with me throughout my day. Guess what I'm doing today? I'm going to sign my contract for my new job. So I want it to look nice and presentable when I show up there. Um, so you're going to come with me throughout the day and then we'll check in at the end of the day and we'll see how it held up. Okay. And I also wanted to just show you in sunlight and right by a window. Oh, look at the mess behind me. Isn't it lovely? Um, how this looks in sunlight as opposed to studio lighting. Yeah, I think it looks pretty to start with. We'll see. We'll see if it can hold up to my oily skin. shine on the nose but really not a lot of red just maybe the tiniest little bit by now normally I would be a lot more oily than this and not a lot on the cheeks either Hey guys, so it's actually nine o'clock. This is my final check-in. I've had this on for 10 hours now. I'm about to, I'm in my bathroom right now. I'm about to have a shower. So this is our last opportunity to talk about this foundation. I'm actually super impressed. I know, you know, the lighting isn't the best. It's dark out, but I've got, I've got some light in here. Um, anyways, I am possibly blown away by how well this has controlled my oil throughout the day. So I'm looking at a mirror right now. Um, I have, I've only blotted once today. Didn't put another stitch of powder on my face. Literally just the same foundation as I put on at 11 o'clock and it's like, it's not coming off anywhere. It's not 
uh, really oxidizing. I did think at one point today that it maybe had gotten a little bit darker, but I don't think it had. I don't think it has on a closer inspection. I think it's just that this foundation is maybe one shade um, too warm for me because I'm just looking at it going, eh, it's not really like my exact skin tone, but I think that's how it looked when I first put it on. But in terms of not breaking down on my skin and keeping me mattified, it really has. Like I feel, I feel like pretty much like when I first put it on, the only place I really noticed a lot of oil was on my nose. And even, I wanna say like six or so, seven hours in, I barely had to blot. So if you're oily at all, and you feel like you wanna give this a try to keep yourself oil free and matte all day, definitely, definitely go for it. So that's it for today. I hope that this was really useful to you guys. If you're new around here and you wanna see more content like this, subscribe. I'd love to have you around in the future. I hope you're having a good day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.